It's about 11 o'clock the night before a session. I'm trying to set up microphones, and I thought I'd let you in on what we're doing. So we're recording piano and bandoneon uh, tomorrow. And for the piano, I think I have my setup figured out. I have two KM184s, which are uh, small diaphragm condenser, sort of, they call them pencil mics. And then I have two Royer 122s. Those are phantom powered ribbon mics, which is very rare, but uh, here they are, they have it. I, I basically got them over the 121s because I've, the noise floor is a little bit better. You have to use a cloud lifter with the 121s. And I wouldn't forget and have the Phantom Power on, which was actually the most important thing. Ben and Aeon, I want to spite mic on them as well. What I'm thinking about doing is using the Sphere. That is a modeling microphone, and I also have all of the plugins and everything, so I can test it out and try it in different things. I think Ben and Aeon is good to mic stereo. So my philosophy is this. These are going to capture the bite and strength of the piano, the, the hammers, the sound of the hammers, etc. These are more like a room mic. And I have them in a balloon line pattern, which basically means this membrane is pointing this way, this membrane is pointing this way. And I'll give you a pretty good wide stereo. So that's what we're gonna work with. I'm gonna have the Ben and Aeon player over here. Let's see, hopefully this will track with me. Okay, so over here somewhere. And then it's also gonna be videoed, which is gonna be interesting because it's not a super huge room. But the piano sounds great. I know the Ben and Neon, together they're gonna to be amazing and I'm looking forward to recording it and sharing some of it with you. Another thing I wanted to mention about this session is I wanna do it without headphones. We decided to get everybody together in a room and of course that's a more organic way to do this stuff. So I have a pair of speakers here and basically I'm gonna use that for talk back. And then of course I will hear them talking through these microphones. Hello, everybody. So, it's the next day, and a couple things have happened. We've had the piano tuned, which is fantastic. Always love to do that. You remember I talked about these microphones. We decided we'd put the piano on the half stick. So, we moved these out a little bit, and then these, which are room mics, um, the reason why I do the air quotes is because even though they're only a little further back, they also have a different quality to the sound. They're a little little warmer and everything. So, And they also have a figure eight pattern. So they're actually picking up some of what's behind them as well. So these two we talked about. Now, over here I brought out two more. I also have this Sphere L22 microphone. It's a UAD microphone these days because they bought Townsend Labs. And it's a modeling microphone. So it has all sorts of really cool models. And I got excited. I bought the add-on packs. So I have the Allen Sides Ocean Way. That guy was a nut. He, he figured out, I guess it was during the 80s where everybody was loving microphones like this, that he would buy all these old microphones. And so he's let Universal Audio sample them. I'm going to record listening to that 47, but I'm not going to print it so that I can then go back and use any model I want. And this is my trusty old 414. This was the first really good microphone I had. And I got it back in the 80s. It's still roaring along. So we'll see what sounds better. These two together are a lot of stereo already. 414 might be just what the doctor ordered to actually just put it on the band and on for like a real solid mono sound. Or maybe the L22 is the thing. I'm going to leave them both on it if we have room for the videographer and everything, it's not a huge room. And we will see what works out and what we like later. We right now are recording the Ben and Aeon and piano in the other room. And it sounds awesome. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? It sounds fantastic. Let's 
listen to it. Mike's by himself. Oh, I'm not even listening to the 122s. So that's the Ben and Aon by itself. It's fantastic. Okay. Wow. We will be listening to the Neumanns now. You know what I realized? The numbers are not helping me. Like to say the 122s, the 184s. Like I have to say the Neumanns or the, yeah, something, something else. So now I'm sitting in the Bandoneon chair. You know, for me, the big unknown was the Bandoneon because I don't know that much about the instrument. I've listened to a lot of tango at this point, so I kind of know what it's supposed to sound like, obviously, but I don't know how to mic it. So when the Bandoneon player came in, I said, how do you like to be mic'd? You always ask a player what his or her experience is because a lot of times they will have great ideas and a real good concept of where the sound comes from. So it turns out the sound comes out of both ends and the Ben and Aon player plays, you know, with both hands and it's kind of laying flat and they pull it. One of the interesting things is that you kind of don't know how far it's going to go. So you have to set pretty far back. And that's good anyway, because, you know, if you get too close to an instrument, it gives you kind of one frequency range, it sort of restricts it. It gets a boxy quality or it's too trebly or whatever. So what I did was I scrapped this mic right here um, because it just wasn't the right kind of stereo. And instead I got two 414s, AKG 414s. They're nice microphones. This one was on the right hand. This one was on the left hand. I think he was probably sitting a little further this way. And the sound was wonderful. My last little piece of advice, if I have any, or if it's worth listening to, is that at either the beginning or the end, I go around and I tap each microphone and I say what it was in the session so that we have it on a recording. So I'll go and tap this and go Ben and A on left. Tap, 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 Ben and A on right. And then I'll go around and do the rest of the mics in the room. And only then I'll take them down. So that when somebody's mixing it and that someone's not going to be me, They'll know what the orientation was, otherwise they might get things mixed up. Room mics are basically oriented towards the piano, so the, the left of the piano and the right of the piano are going to be the right of the band and neon, the left of the band and neon. But the band and neon is going to be 10 dB softer in those room mics, so it, that should work out fine. It sounded great when we were recording it. The videographer got right over here and basically put his tripod up on that desk, and that was one, and then also he walked around with a handheld and took some shots that were B-roll. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little look into a recording process. That was this weekend. Uh, tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow we're going to be recording ADR for a film, so I'll keep you posted on that. I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks a lot for coming along. I'll keep you up to date on that other one as well. And uh, off we go. Bandoneon left side. Bandoneon right side.